What's up guys, welcome to our channel Tej Advice. In this video, we will talk about Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration. In this video, we will tell you all the steps you have to take to fix the problem. But before that, I like to suggest you to watch the complete video. By watching the complete video, you can fix the problem properly. So stay tuned and watch complete video. Before going further, if you are new to this channel, then click on this subscribe button and on the bell notification select all and give a thumbs up if you like this video and do let us know in the comment section which step fix your problem. So let's get started. Step 1. Shut down PC completely. In this step, you not only have to shut down your computer from here, but also you have to unplug the power cable from your wall outlet and leave that as it is for at least 15 to 20 seconds. And after that, turn on your PC to check if your problem is fixed. Step 2. Do troubleshooting step to Ethernet. On your Windows PC, on the left bottom side, click on this window icon. Click on this settings gear icon. Here click on update and security. Here you can see the troubleshoot option. Click on the troubleshoot. After this, you can see internet connection. Find and fix problem with connecting to the internet or to website. Click on this. Click on run troubleshoot. Either you can click on troubleshoot problem from here, from this icon, troubleshoot problem. But even after that, we suggest you to troubleshoot from here as well. Step 3. Remove Ethernet cable connected to your router. Here you have to connect the Ethernet wire connected to your router. Connect that wire directly to your PC or desktop to check if that help you to run your internet. Sometime the problem come up in your router and because of that your internet is stop working. Sometime you'll see some of the website is stop working not coming up properly. That means there are some MTU problem on your router and because of that few website which was working perfectly fine before stop working. So it's better for you to connect that ethernet directly to your desktop or to your laptop. Step 4. Check proxy setting. Sometime we install some proxy software and we update the proxy in that software and when we run those software our proxy setting configured by those software. So it's very important for you to check your proxy settings. What do you have to do to check your proxy setting? Now you may be thinking about that. Don't worry, we have an answer for that. Type here inetcpl.cpl. I'm showing you the command again. inetcpl.cpl. This is a command you have to type in the run. Press the windows icon left bottom side and hold it down and press R. R is in Romeo and in there type this command inetcpl.cpl. After this press enter. You'll see internet properties window comes up here. You need to click on connections. Click on LAN settings. After this here you'll see the proxy address and the port. If you have this proxy showing up here then remove that proxy or either unselect this box and press OK to remove the proxy from internet property. After this in Windows 10 click on this Windows icon. Click on settings, go into network and internet and here you can see the proxy and you can see the manual proxy setup. If this option is showing you on, then remove that address and turn it off. That's how you need to check your proxy settings. Step 5. Check the Ethernet cable. Recently I faced this problem that my Ethernet is stopped working. I tried all the step to fix the problem. But eventually there was a problem with my Ethernet. But I was lucky enough not to go deep down into the lot of troubleshooting step and I decided 
to check the Ethernet cable. So what I did, I connected the Ethernet to my desktop and to my laptop to check if that working or not. And the same thing you have to check. If your Ethernet cable working properly, then you'll see light on both sides of the connection. On your laptop, you'll see blue, green or white light. And same goes for your desktop. You'll see green, white, that kind of light you're gonna see. If it's showing that when you connected the Ethernet cable to your laptop and to your desktop, that means Ethernet cable working perfectly fine. If it's not showing you the light, that means there is some problem with your Ethernet cable. It's better for you to check the Ethernet cable. I know you might be thinking how you can check the Ethernet cable coming from outside and connected to your router. I don't mean you to check that wire. I want you to check the wire connected to your router through your modem. Step 6. Check your router modem are working fine or not. Turn off both of them and turn it on after 10 seconds to check if that helps you to fix the problem. And if you have any other devices in your home in which internet is running, then please check that if it's working fine or not, everything coming up properly or not. You should have to have a Wi-Fi router and the device which catches the Wi-Fi. If you have that and internet is working fine, that means your modem and router working perfectly fine. There is only a problem in the cable or on the port you have connected the cable. And I like to tell you there are 4 to 5 ports you'll see on the router where you can connect your ethernet cable. So check all the ports to see if that helps you to fix the ethernet problem. Step 7. Restore your PC to latest restore point. Sometime when we install some kind of software on our PC, that software creates a problem in our PC and because of that, we get this error. Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration. So it's better for you to restore your PC to the restore point. For that, press Windows icon and R, type here SYS DM dot cpl press ok and you'll see system property click on system protection system restore click next click here show more restore point check your recent restore point and restore your pc as per the requirement if you recently installed the software on your pc and on that time your pc created a restore point then restore your pc to that date to the morning time you can see the timing here or either you can restore your pc to other date as you can see to the manual if you have created any manual restore point and if you want to create any manual restore point then these are the things you have to do in system restore click on this local disk c system click on configure and select the requirement space you want and click on apply and ok Again click on local list C and click on create. Type the date or whatever you like to type here so that you can recognize the restore point. That's all. It's gonna create a restore point and it's just gonna show you restore point created. Click OK and OK. Apply and OK. That's all you have to do to create a restore point. Step 8. Check IPv4 connection and Ethernet property. For that, Press and hold Windows icon and R and type here ncpa.cpl and push enter. You'll see your Ethernet information here. As you can see the information as I have the Ethernet running on my PC. It's from Realtek PCIe GBE family control driver. Do a right click and click on properties. Here select this option. Click on properties and select these options. Obtain an IP address automatically. If you have this option selected, that means there are some IP address, subnet, mask and default gateway. You need to select this option, obtain an IP address automatically. These IP address assigned by your router automatically to your PC. It's kind of local IP address 
assigned to your PC. You can assign it manually as well, but it's better for you to select obtain an IP address automatically. Same goes for DNS server address as well. Obtain DNS server address automatically. Step 9. Restore TCP slash IP network and clean your network cache. Here you need to open the command prompt. Click on the windows icon type here cmd. Click on run as administrator. You just need to click yes and after this type here netsh net sh win shock reset press enter after this type net s h i p i n g i p reset and press enter after typing this command net s h i n t i p reset you have to restart your pc step 10 turn off fast startup here you need to turn off the fast startup Recently, Windows updated this feature in Windows 10 and as per the user and the experts, this fast startup causing some problems in the PC. So it's better for you to turn off the fast startup. To turn off the fast startup, press and hold Windows icon, press R, type Control and press Enter. Here you will see a screen like this or either category or a small icon. From view by, click on large icons. Here click on power options. Click on choose what the power button do. After this, click on change setting that are currently unavailable. After this, uncheck this option and click on save changes. That's how you have to turn off the fast startup. As I'm not facing any problem with a fast startup because my hardware configuration is good enough to support and along with that, I haven't seen any problem yet with the fast startup. But few users reported on the tech blog that fast startups causing the problem in their PC. Step 11. Check the network driver and reinstall it. For to check the network driver, do a right click on this windows icon. Click on device manager. Here you need to find the network adapter of the ethernet showing up on your ethernet property. If you are not sure about the driver, then press and hold the windows icon, press R, type ncpa.cpl, press OK and you can see here the information, Realtek PCIe GBE family control. So the same I have in here, do a right click, click on properties, click on driver, first click on disable device and enable it again and restart your PC. After this, try to update the driver. If it's not updating, it's showing you it's up to date. Then uninstall the device and click on this option, scan for the hardware changes and it's gonna show you your driver here. Step 12. Stop Microsoft Kernel Debug Network Driver. As per the users, it has been reported on the tech blog that this driver causing so much problem. So you will find this driver in same location in network adapter so disable this driver just click on property and disable the device click ok apply ok changes that's all you have to do to disable the microsoft kernel debug network driver step 13 assign network address it's really important for you to know ethernet adapter network address it's kind of mac address which is assigned to your ethernet so what you have to do click on windows icon type cmg click on open here type ip config give a space forward slash all and press enter here i'm hiding some information as you can see here the adapter of bluetooth network connection there is a, a physical address assigned to that as well you might see this as well unknown adapter local area connection but if you have that don't prefer that you have to be in Ethernet adapter Ethernet. Here you will see the description Realtek PCIe GPE family control. Here you need to assign the physical address this one. If it's not in there then you have to assign this address. Press and hold the window icon and press R type ncpa.cpl. Here do a right click and click on property. Click on configure 
advanced tab click on this network address here you will see the value and please do remember you do not have to use any kind of dash or space you have to type the complete address as in the number form if your physical address of your ethernet is 0033448 a d a d 5 something like that and it's showing in the physical address 0000 dash 33 dash 44 then don't use this dash while updating your ethernet in your network address do not use any dashes here step 14 check dscp client go to check the dscp client press the windows icon type here services you'll see this option come up here click on that click on services you'll see this window come up click anywhere in this box on this side i'm gonna hide most of the information because i don't want to show these things here you need to type d and now you need to search for dscp client once you'll be here do a double click set this option automatic and click on run and click on apply and ok and after that click on restart that's how you have to run dlcp client now we have two more points but those are not that essential but in tech forum it has been suggested these things can cause a problem so that's why this step we have in our list step 15 run check disk scan go to run check this scan click on windows icon type cmd and run as an administrator and here you need to type chkdsk space c column space forward slash nf and press enter here it gonna ask you to press y or n so you have to press y and after that you need to restart your computer once you press yes it's gonna be scheduled and whenever you restart your pc then it is start automatically step 16 disable your antivirus whatever the antivirus you have try to disable it till the time your internet is not working sometime antivirus stop some features so we have to disable our antivirus to check if that is causing the problem on our pc or not so that's all for today thank you for watching the complete video all the steps we have explained in this video i hope you'll find the step which help you to fix your problem thank you for watching this video have a nice day